Hello everyone, my name is Eki King. I just like to share with everyone uh, my experience with the vaccine. If maybe you have not taken the vaccine and you would like to know how it is. But before I start, I would like to start with a short disclaimer. Um, what I'm going to share is uh, the experience that I had. It doesn't necessarily mean that if you take the vaccine, this is how you feel or this is how it will it should have the same effect on you because we are we are different as people like our blood is different our immune system is different so it depends on people what i'm sharing now i'm not saying is what is going to happen to you so first of all the reason why i took the vaccine um uh i was one of those people when the vaccine came at first i was one of those people who were like no never i'm not gonna take this vaccine never ever ever i was saying that no 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 i'm not gonna take it but um as time goes uh i realized that i'm going to be limited because i, I still want to do a lot of things because uh there are things there are certain things that i will not be able to do like uh, if, if you want to travel uh, in terms of uh, a job everything like a uh, very important things it is required so i saw that mm, as much as um the president said um uh, we are not forced yes he is right but at the end of the day i, I find myself without a choice but to take it because i still want to do a lot of things yes so where did i get my vaccine um here in south africa there are a lot of uh places um uh, where you can get your vaccine um i got mine at clicks pharmacy i that was uh, convenient for me because because it is uh close to where i'm staying and i was thinking of <laughs> i'm not gonna stand in, in a very long queue yes yes i didn't stand in a very long queue i got inside so what i did before i got there i registered online with my cell phone so online there you put your details uh, you have to put your id number your name and all the personal information that they are going to ask and that will help a lot because when i got there the registration time was um reduced i didn't like it didn't take long for me to register uh, like um, because those people who were not registered they were just standing there for a long time because they were still doing their process which I did online so yeah when you get the clicks uh, you just uh, go there by the till they put your name on the system they give you another form to fill you fill that form that form has got a lot of questions um, you state if you have any chronic disease have you taken the vaccine before all those things yeah so yeah when you finish the registration process then you go inside you find a nurse day it would be on the nurse yeah and uh to be honest i was very scared i don't wanna lie i was scared but i felt like yeah i need to do this i have to do it <laughs> But I was very scared and um, I found the nurse there, she just, it didn't take long and um, and uh, I, I don't want to lie, she didn't explain to me what, uh, what kind of a vaccine I'm going, she's going to give me, whether it's Johnson or Pfizer or whatever. I even asked her when she was coming with the injection, um, which arm? She said this one, um, it was my left arm. The so after giving me that shot on my left arm she went back to her desk and she started writing and she told me that i have to come back on the 24th of december for my second dose that is where i knew that okay the vaccine they gave me uh it requires two doses to to be fully vaccinated so the date was uh, november november 12th it was november 12th yes then she said I should come back on the 24th of November for a second dose. So that is where I knew after she gave me this thing uh, that um, I took Pfizer because it is written here whoo, something something Pfizer contra tata something. <laughs> I can't see her handwriting. I'm not sure what it is. I can't tell because it looked like C A N R A. 
TY yeah, Pfizer. So that is where I knew that I took Pfizer and I have to come back for a second dose. So she didn't tell me to sit down for a while. She just said we are done. Man, uh, that nurse was not friendly. I don't wanna lie. I have her name here, but I'll not mention it. She was not friendly at all. Imagine you are scared. You have heard a lot of things about the vaccine and you are inside there. You just find someone who's just, you know, yeah, but it's fine. <laughs> As people, we have like different characters and personalities. Yeah. So, yeah. And as soon as I finished, I went out, out outside of the famous and I went back to my house. So what I noticed as soon as I took the vaccine, because I went out immediately, I didn't sit for a while because she didn't tell me to sit down and I didn't know the time to sit down for a while. I only knew when I went for my second dose that I was supposed to sit. I went down, well, sorry, I went out immediately and um, I didn't feel any pain, but my arm, when they gave me the shot, it felt, it was very heavy. It was like my arm is very heavy but um i continued i walked back to my house yes there was it and when i got home i didn't feel any pain i just continued uh with my work i went back home i cooked i did what i was supposed to do i didn't fall, uh, fall sick or anything but oh my god the way this thing gave me appetite i was getting hungry now and then I was eating oh my god I couldn't control my appetite like I don't know see now I've gained weight I was not like this it's the vaccine that is how it reacted to me even now like um, early in the morning like I wake up around 4 I feel like oh, someone has eaten all my intestines inside my stomach I go to the kitchen and look for something to eat imagine so yeah yeah that's the thing i didn't fall sick so because they did send me an sms after taking my 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 first dose that i might get this um side effect i might feel flu symptoms what what no i i didn't get all that but food being more <laughs> so yeah uh, that was it i I, I've been I was having too much appetite yeah so from the 12th the day I took my first dose so towards when we were on the 20th of December now my appetite was better it went back to normal um but the, the weight that I gained hey hey uh, I was I was fed according to what I am because I know that I know myself that I'm not someone who's has a big body yeah so yeah but towards the 20 something of december my appetite went back to normal i started exercising i was starting to go back to my shape and yeah i was exercising my stomach was flat again you know the summer body and yarn. but um, <clears throat> on the 24th of december the day before christmas this christmas i went back on my second dose okay uh first when when i got there i went to the registration process again like they were putting me on the system which didn't take long and this time around when i got inside oh i found another beautiful nurse sister who is very friendly she introduced herself and uh, she asked me questions she was very friendly <laughs> but this one <laughs> when she puts the injection on my right arm it was but i knew that i i have to be still i don't have to jump or move so that the needle does not break inside my arm so yeah i waited for her to finish yeah yeah and she finished and i asked her because she was oh okay uh i was supposed to bring this uh card which they gave me during my first dose so she was writing on it and she gave it back to me so i asked her uh is this going to be my proof that now i'm vaccinated wherever i go and she said yes this is going to be your proof and uh you you would also need to download the digital version of this online 
uh, with the link with the sms there's a link in the sms which they sent me yeah so that she's going to be my proof yes <coughs> so sorry so yeah that was it she finished i went back home hey this time around yo the pains imagine i didn't even bother myself to buy painkillers on the way because uh the first dose i didn't feel any pain but this time around whew, i was sick Whew. it was my end see where they gave me the shot it was painful i was feeling tired hungry i was always tired it's, it's like like i was only sleeping imagine it was um a uh, christmas eve and <laughs> my neighbors they were partying the noise they were making Yo, I couldn't sleep till morning. I was just tossing and turning, feeling the pains. Even this, the following day, Christmas Day, the other day, 26th and all. It, it took maybe almost a week. I was feeling tired. I was very tired and I was feeling the pains. I was having hot flashes. So that was my second dose. It, it wasn't like the first dose. So, but eventually I, I recovered from all those side effects now i'm fine but the appetite is still there yeah it's the appetite is still there i'm still hungry like remember that um the first dose what it did to me it gave me too much appetite and when when i was getting better i had to go for a second dose again but <clears throat> so right now i'm trying to control my eating like so that i don't i do not gain that weight that i gained last month <laughs> yeah i've gained now but it's better than last month and i hope that uh, as time goes uh my eating habits will go back to normal so yeah that's just my experience with the vaccine so far i'm fine just the the appetite is still there that's it so yeah that's it so this is why they gave me they gave me this they said it's going to be my proof wherever I go and I haven't downloaded the one online. I'm still going to do it. Yeah. So, so if you are looking for some information, if you want to go and do the vex, you can go and do it. I did it. I'm still alive. I'm not dead. Yeah. So, but I'm not saying the way I felt is the way you are going to feel. I'm not saying the side effects are going to be the same as mine because we are different as I've said uh, earlier on. So, yeah. Thank you so much uh, for listening to this video. Please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Bye.